Hey guys, uh, this is Robbie over at Justino uh, with a helpful video here on how to set up a countdown timer within your promotion. And this can be done in a locked, unlocked promotion or a, an Uno bar if you're trying to press urgency with maybe a free shipping coupon code or something like that. Uh, but let's dive in. Um, I have this promotion here, which already contains it, but we're going to go in and edit design. We're going to see our nice little corner pop up that we have here that's asking for an email for 10% off. I'm going to go to the post engagement screen and you can see that I already have my countdown timer here designed and looking real pretty. So we're going to delete the layer and let's start from scratch. So you go to add layer, plugins, and we'll select the countdown timer. Right now we're going to, we, we just have age verification countdown timer and then we're going to add YouTube video and that's why that layer is called plugins. But we're going to select countdown timer. And we see it, and it's not really visible here because the text is in black. But let's just go ahead and shorten this. Let's create the border that we're going to use for this for this layer, for this countdown timer. And let's go to border options. Let's create it. We've got our black border here. I'm going to make it white. And then instead of in a WYSIWYG editor that you would see in this toolbar, you're going to edit this on the right side. So we go to our font. Let's make it Roboto, let's make it 26, and let's make it white. And it's all the way over to the left, so I'm going to want to align that to the middle. And that's also an hour, so let's go to our other options. We're still setting the seconds. You can do seconds or you can set an end date, which is pretty interesting. And um, in seconds, I happen to know that 20 minutes, after doing this a bunch of times, is 1,200 seconds. That's 20 minutes. I'm going to have it remember the time, so if I'm a visitor and I see this and I, and I activate the timer and I leave and I come back in 12 minutes, then it's going to show 8 minutes remaining. Uh, and then I'm going to pick my expired text uh, once the coupon code's out, and I'm going to choose to close this promotion once the timer is gone because, uh, because once the promotion expires, they'll still see a tab there, they'll still have access to it, but they may have to engage again. So. That looks good to me. The design looks good. I'm going to hit save. And let's see if it shows up for me in the preview. It was, okay, so it shows me as having already engaged with this offer. So it's not showing to me. But if I go in, I see my promotion here. I engage, you know, Robbie at justino.com. Sweet. I got my blog 10 promotion. Timer is expired. And um, in the preview, you might see that in the preview, and, and not to worry, it's still going to operate as expected live with your countdown with the actual amount of time left. And I actually, because I remembered the time, it uh, chose not to show me. It was the expired text. So we don't want to impede the sale by totally taking away the coupon code, but we do want to press that urgency and make it appear as though it, um, it went away. So that is how you create the countdown timer within just you know again create it for your uno bars create it for your unlocked offers your locked offers everything um, that you can and let us know if we can help in any way or if you have any feedback for us with regards to these promotions happy socializing